Welcome to the latest episode of Research That Matters. I am Dr. Chris Freitag with Lavaca County Chiropractic in Hallettsville, Texas. And this is our weekly post about what the science and what the research says about topics that should matter to you. And today's topic is researched back ways to relieve sciatica pain without surgery. If you have ever fallen to your knees in pain due to sciatica, you know how scary and concerning that can be. Sciatica is pain that locks up in your low back and travels down your leg after sneezing, coughing, or bending over to pick something up. It's one of the least welcome surprises you can experience in your life. Sciatica pain is caused when a spinal disc, excess bone growth called bone spurs, or overgrown ligaments begin to compress and pinch on the nerves in your lower back. These nerves travel down your buttock, the back of your leg, and all the way to the toes of your feet. But do you know the best way to find relief? You may be surprised to learn that disc bulges and herniations are actually quite common as we age, and most of the time they don't cause any pain. It's very possible that right now you might have various spinal disc issues that aren't actually causing you any pain or any problems. But if a nerve in your low back begins to get pinched as a result of these disc problems, your body is definitely sure to let you know about it with a significant jolt of pain. It's understandable to think that the only way to take care of a bulged or herniated disc is by cutting it out with surgery, but that is not the case. The best way to treat sciatica is with the care offered in our practice. Stretching, exercise, and spinal adjustments have all been shown to be extremely effective at reducing the pain associated with sciatica by reducing the pinching or compression on your spinal nerves. Controlled movement of your spinal joints can help reduce the inflammation and the pain associated with sciatica. Surgery is a last resort and it's estimated that less than 5% of people with sciatica are even good candidates for surgical intervention. That's worth repeating. It's estimated by research that less than 5% of people with sciatica are even good candidates for surgical intervention. A recent study found that over 60% of people found more relief with, for patients receiving spinal adjustments than those receiving spinal injections for the treatment of lumbar disc herniations. Having sciatica does not mean that you are destined for surgery. In fact, the majority of people with disc issues and sciatica can get well utilizing chiropractic care. Your spine is quite resilient. Your spinal discs can heal and we are here to help. So thank you for joining me for the latest episode of Research That Matters. Click the share button and pass this on to someone in your life that you know of that is dealing with sciatica right now and let them know that surgery is definitely not at the top of the list of options that they should be considering first. Send this to them. Give them the information they need to make the best healthcare choices they can to give themselves the best results in the short term and definitely the best results in the long term for the for dealing with sciatica. Have a wonderful day.